There you go. Cool. Centipede thing down. And uh, over the course of that, I, I've acquired 10,000 souls. And another soul of Brenna, I don't even remember how much that's, that's worth. Whew. Groovy. Well, that's the first checkpoint done down here. I suppose I could have just leapt down from there and done it. Yes, yeah, so that thing. Huh. Look at that. Okay. I didn't get the item there because it looked really suspicious. And it still looks really suspicious. It's a... Uh, it's a big, big beast. Spines and... All well, these kind of centipede looking things kind of... One of its arms... Was one of its arms kind of sticking to the wall there? I mean, the wall appears to have healed itself, but that's probably just technological limitations. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know. What I do know is that just getting a bonfire... I'm probably quite... What? Try range battle. Good idea. Nice to know I'm still online as well. These messages are few and far between. So you do come off there. I hear more things. I think the Capra Demons up there have respond. I'd rather Capra Demons did not come for me, if that's okay with you. It's an unwelcome complication. Let's go one. Okay, no Capra Demons are coming to me. Awesome. Let's take care of this guy. Still not. <laughs> yeah, another one. As always, with Dark Souls, with knowledge comes competence. So you need to know what you're doing. I'm not even going to think about this. Just going to run in. Grab it. Bugger off. There. <laughs> Soul of a Prime Knight, huh? And that thing looked really poised to just come and grab me afterwards. I don't know what happened to this thing. Petrification? Hmm. What would do that? Ooh, I don't know. Oh, hello. Secret item. A green Titanite shard. Beautiful. That was a uh, do what? Magic weapons? <laughs> uh, magic, divine, and fire weapons. Great. Let's head farther down into the demon ruins. Again, making sure I'm good. So, Taurus Demon. Taurus Demon. White Gate, Capra Demon. Groovy. These things are a pretty high aggro range. They're so easy when you have the right amount of power behind you. Oh, good, actually. You coming to me kind of makes it a little bit easier. I was worried he would just knock me alright off there. Taking these things one at a time is going to be fairly paramount. Yes, indeedy. Let's try and aggro him. Mm -hmm. Bit of a hole. He's, he's clocked me already. What are you doing? He's not interested. Oh, hello. Yeah, because you need another one of those. Ugh. I don't like your legs. It's not really a viable option for me, is it? Ah, it is, but it's kind of cheap. I don't want to do it. Acid. Acid for everybody. One down. Ooh, cam block. That's the best way to deal with you. Let me get you to the side. I need to read those attack patterns better. Okay. So that's a, a slight thing. 
that looks like a really horrific attack. Okay. I can't concentrate because of you. Look. Come here for God's sake. Attack me already. Oh, God. There. Now I can face this thing with, you know, not having to chip till I left every five seconds. Hey, Paramancy, how do you like that? Uh, you really don't care. Go figure, huh? Come on, come down and attack me. That's your range attack. Get a little bit closer. Do that lunge again. I want to be able to identify it. I think are powerful. Ow. Get your distance. The bad thing about you is you're ridiculously powerful when I get up close. Tactically speaking. Not much better. Tactically speaking, tactically speaking, I don't care about you. <laughs> I don't think you're worth my time, honestly. This is big, ugly worm thing. I could care less. I'm just gonna bypass you. Hey, buddy. Hey, garden up here. Um. Hey, buddy. Multiple enemies, joy. You target first. I feel like it's been ages since I've like made a concept to block anything in combat. It's a little brave wire. You know I'm doing pretty good on souls. Hmm. I wonder what do I wonder? I want, what I wonder is, do I have enough souls to, you know, successfully make it back to the bonfire and level up? Absolutely not. There's no way I have, like, 10,000 souls worth of stuff I picked up to do that. Hmm. Cool. Let's have a look, have a bit of a look around. Huh. There's a couple ways to go there and even the lighting looks different. That big gate, again, looks like another boss fight. I guess that's probably the end of my session. I'll snip over to the talisman quickly so I can heal up. I tell you what, it's really hot in here. Okay, what's the best way to deal with you? I would like to learn. It's such a pain in the ass to do if I get killed by you, though. It really is. If I get killed by you, I need to fight through everything again. Maybe the Taurus demons don't respond, but even so... So it looks like way ahead. Or the way... Actually, no, it doesn't. It looks like something else completely. Hmm. Tell you what. Fought at the moment is kind of few and far between. So I kind of need the loot. So what I am going to do is I do think I have almost enough souls to level up. So I'm going to kill some Capra demons burn a level, be a bit more relaxed about going forward. But I'm going to cut through it, so back to the animal. Ooh! An item! I wonder what it could be. A demon great machete. How cool for me. The lesser capper demons use these great swords in pairs, but it's cast iron and hooked. No particular magic, but those who have the strength that is great with weight will smash foes mercilessly. So not much about the Capra Demon itself. But then again, I feel like they're kind of like creatures born. It's like trying to describe undead. They kind of there's not really a reason for the creation, like some of the crystal golems and stuff that has been created by Seath the Skillis. They just kind of are. That's my interpretation at the moment though. And that's based on little to no knowledge. So no idea. You're alright. And here we are back with a nice juicy amount of souls. Now, all I need to do is say how to spend them. 
Level up in endurance or upgrade the pyromancy of flame again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. How much does it cost me to level up? I feel like endurance is maybe a little bit on the low side. Huh. It's a good amount to be pressing forward with. Uh huh. Yep, that's how we're doing it. I like it. The reason I did that, well, the reason I paused because there was a police car going by, but the reason I spend that instead of spending on the pyromancy flame, even though I'm targeting it at plus 10, is that I need to grind up two levels for it. So I might as well do it between sessions. And, you know. Let me get a little bit of this grind whilst I'm actually doing recording. Pow. And this way I get to feel the benefits of it immediately. Whereas Pyromancy, you know, I do still want to upgrade it. But it's not as useful as, you know, other things could be down here. So it's just that little more to come with extra stamina. So well over there, and Taurus Demon are coming. I'm a little bit disappointed that you're spawn, honestly. Oh, there you go. I wonder if these guys bleed. And just like that, a song from Pocahontas stuck in my head. Oh god, you know, I almost forgot about you. Big weird thing. Look at him. He's twiddling his feelers in anticipation for my my juicy flesh. But I will not I will not give him the satisfaction. That was that was uh that was scary. <sighs> Go away. Right, okay. Uh-huh, two of you. Whoop. Whoop. That was a waste of an Estus. Right, what's in... Ugh. Eat humanity. Uh-huh. Sign a boss fight if ever I heard one. Okay. Well. Maybe let's do this place first. Here he can't... Oh my. That's a bad gap. Whoop. Not that bad a gap. I think it means I have to leap down though. Nice. A fitting reward. For a brave warrior, am I? That's a weird that is. Look at that. Hmm. This is an interesting area. And it's actually a, a pretty important area. One of the reasons that I joined my covenant in the first place. Is there anything else over here? This is just a long empty bit. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Well, that's a very clever message, actually. Uh, there. Enjoy that. Uh, did you get it, viewer? I hoped for an item right there. But I should have been wary of that because there wasn't one. Right, so what's the best way back onto safe land then? Now that I've been not tricked exactly, but uh <laughs> Trapped. Whoop Oh, that was as best I could have possibly hoped for. Weird area this, isn't it? Hmm. It's explorers needed. Oh! That was a weird thing. They're running away from me. Hmm. They look really odd, don't they? But there's something about them which is kind of familiar. Oh. Fleeing though they are. 
Oop. <laughs> Let's not laugh. I'm about to murder things. Tears ahead. These things are strange. I think I hear more. The great door. Twisted with fire. Hmm. But passage is granted to us unless. Let's get him. Cheek it. Whoa. Can get him. Well, that looks bad. Okay. I'm being quite thorough. Do not mind at me for a moment. I need to do something. One. Uh, yeah. I'll explain all in just a second, I promise. Just give me one moment. One. I was not expecting to find that uh, that crystal demon there. One. Two. Three. Four. Mm -hmm. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's good. So, yes. I got an item there. Let's see ya. Well, I didn't mean to wear it. <laughs> that looks really weird, but check it out. It's, it's giving off this light. It's a sunlight maga, I guess that makes sense. I meant to read this bloody item description. <laughs> A loathsome parasite that inhabits Los Angeles that is completely immobile yet still lives. When worn on the head, it emanates blinding light, which is why it's known as sunlight maggot. Weirdly disturbing. This is a way of interest. Very little. Ugh. Hang on. Thanks for waiting, guys. I just confirmed that I did it right. Nine demons. Nine strange bugs, one of which had a sunlight maggot on it. These things are weird, man. They kind of look like uh, the Sunlight Maga themselves. They fled from me. Somebody with more humanity perhaps would have spared them. But here's the thing. You let them live. How much detail should I give at this point? I shouldn't. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, if you let them live something bad happens, I will not specify, for the sake of the story I will not specify any further at this point. <laughs> the sole reason I joined the Chaos Covenant was A, because it gives you a very juicy pyromancy, but B also it lets you open that shortcut. Opening those shortcuts gives you access to the bugs. And killing the bugs allows you to do something. What it allows you to do, I will explain close to the time. It's weird though, these dry roots, everything down here feels a bit desolate. Can I get back here? Or is this just... It looks kind of impenetrable, doesn't it? Yeah. Slightly invisible wall syndrome. Either way. That's that done here. Let's go look at where it led us. Beware of hitting them in one swoop. Yeah, you can't. Bringing them down. What's this? Dark spot. That's weird. Tears ahead. Tears. Sorrow ahead. 
<laughs> yeah, something bad happens here if you don't do what I just did. Try lightning. Hmm. That's like a titanite demon over there. Yeah, more lava. Let more. Yeah, more. Oh my life. Uh huh. Oh god. I have no idea what's through there. Beyond this pathway. It's lost Isolith. And I've never done this area. So I'm not gonna start now. Partially because I suspect that we might be a little bit low level for it, honestly. I don't know why. Um I just kind of like this is by nature a shortcut. Uh, I think it might come in a bit more handy to us on the way back. 